Ben here, bringing you Cooking in Vanguard presented by Crave Meals. Today I'm going to be taking you through Castle S&D, the do's, the don'ts, the routes to take, the routes not to take, and we'll be giving you the best tips and tricks to elevate your game to the next level. Let's do this. Alright guys, now we're in game on Castle, let me show you some tips, tricks, rushes, power spots, let's get into it. First thing I'm going to show you is basically a rush. Spawn in here on attack on Castle s &D. Rush, to, Rush along here into this building. You've got the whole cross. Make sure someone stuns the cross for you. You know, stop these people rushing across to the boxes. You can either come to this spot here, you've got all this line of sight, or you come across to the right, smash open this window, they'll be stunned still, and you've got a different angle to hold. It's pretty good rush for attack. You know, most people like to uh, rush the bot boxes they either smoke the cross so the stun will help counter that so you just have to stop them getting across really because it is a big power position and that's what i'm going to show you now is the power position that they go to so if you come along here these boxes when planting the bomb ignore these doors let me open these these are normally blown open anyway this bomb site gets naded completely so ignore basically all that bomb site fully open these boxes are a good finesse area for when you guys planting or when trying to uh, stop them from diffusing. You know, different headies for different angles. Hide completely, jump on these boxes, hide this corner. It's, it's a good power spot really to stop them from diffusing. But something that goes alongside this for power spots is definitely this stair area here. So the guide boxes covers all the low. This stair area, you need to stop them from top. Because, like I said, bombsite gets needed. Remove all these. These are completely gone. These are not here anytime you play this map. They've got free reign shooting them off bomb right there. So what you'd want to do, or what we tend to do, nade these stairs. Once the nade goes off, try and get control. Get someone up here. Never push this. If you're feeling crazy, you can push it if you want. Just gains more control. But Getting control of this area is vital because you've got a drop down spot right here to shoot people low. You've got all this area so they can't shoot my bomb. And then all this guy here on boxes has to do is just control this area. When you've got that, it's basically a done setup, especially with this guy in the back room. And then the last guy is like a roamer, you know, he, he can float anywhere holding the pinch. It's very hard to pinch on this map anyway, so it's not like he has to be far on an island, he can be close. But recently, once you get that set up, it's literally wraps to the bomb. Like, you've got every angle covered, like anyone's, like, everyone's close to each other to help. It's literally, there's, there's no way they're defusing. So they, they literally have to save their nades, which is not possible. It's literally a wrap to plant, and, and to, to, to hold the bomb, it's literally a wrap. All right, guys, that's a wrap on Castle S&D. Stay tuned for more Cooking in Vanguard presented by Crave Meals and Toronto Ultra. Remember to like and subscribe.